Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. The first guest room. The star Luo Emperor listened to all the news that was being conveyed to him, and the smile on his face became brighter and brighter, 150 million. Illustrious Virtue Hallmaster, I hope you like this gift I'm giving you. After he finished speaking, he stood up slowly, and the soul screen in front of him tore in half. Then, the figure of this star Luo Emperor disappeared within that secret passageway. The secret passageway of every guest room opened to allow the guests that had participated in the bidding to leave secretly. Shrek Academy was no exception. Wang Yang did not keep these things to himself this time. The tyrannical tiger soul blade was paid for by Dao Yaoheng, but he kept this rare, class 8 close combat soul tool in his pocket. As for that entire set of class 6 stationary soul cannon shells, he directly passed them to Hikai too. Regarding soul tools, no one in Shrek Academy was as knowledgeable as him. It was best for him to hold on to the items. Hikai too put the 12 shells away carefully. He was so excited that his tanned face swelled with red. Even though the shells were only class 6, they could not be underestimated. They could not be measured based on ordinary soul tools. As they could only be used once, the power of these class 6 shells were more frightening than class 8 long-range soul tools. Right now, the most powerful shells that Shrek Academy knew of were only class 8. A class 8 shell could crush a small-sized city, and it was only produced in limited quantities by the Sun Moon Empire as a weapon in battles. Wang Yang specially instructed him not to use them during the tournament. At this time, everyone had only just returned to the Grand Imperial Star Hotel quietly. Tomorrow, they were going to face a tough opponent. After returning to their rooms, Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong started their cultivation as usual. As the Haodong power was summoned and was supplemented by the golden light left arm bone, the two of them entered a state of meditation. Hui Yu Hao did not know that the Sky Dream Ice Worm and Ice Empress were communicating through their minds in his spiritual sea, humans are becoming more and more evil. They are already eyeing our. Our clan members, the Ice Empress said furiously. The Sky Dream Ice Worm sighed. What's the point of getting angry? Can you change anything by being like this? Furthermore, from a certain standpoint, we can no longer treat ourselves as soul beasts after we fused with Yu Hao. We are now a part of Yu Hao, and perhaps a part of the humans too. This world is about the survival of the fittest. Humans have killed countless soul beasts. However, what happened when there were humans tens of thousands of years ago, when the continent was just created? They were just food for us soul beasts. The Ice Empress seemed to calm down slightly. Humans are frightening creatures. There are many powerful soul beasts that have lived for tens of thousands of years, such as the both of us. However, we have only remained as soul beasts for as long as the continent has existed. What we have improved are only our powers too. But look at the humans. They created cities and invented all sorts of cultivation techniques. They even have soul tools that are increasingly threatening to our existence. I am truly worried that soul beasts will disappear from the face of this world in times to come. The Sky Dream Ice Worm said, it's possible. Our greatest flaw is that we are not united. The stronger a soul beast, the more it'll act in this way. Take you for an example. Would your Ice Jade Scorpion clan be willing to team up with the Titan Snow Devils under the Titan Snow Devil King? The humans possess a significant advantage over any of our species. At the same time, Humans are adept in inventions and thinking. We are unable to match up to them in these aspects. They are the dominant ones on the continent now, and they will continue to be so in the future. The Ice Empress was a little stunned as she said, I couldn't tell. You are really able to tell everything clearly. The Sky Dream Ice Worm said proudly, if not, do you think I've been sleeping for these few million years that I've lived? Weren't you? The Ice Empress replied as she acted stunned, of course not. The Sky Dream Ice Worm was a little cross as he retorted. The Ice Empress seemed to feel much better, and sighed slightly before saying, After losing my power that could control everything around me, I'm actually thinking more than I did in the past. Although the humans are powerful, us soul beasts were the rulers of this world much earlier. Perhaps we're not very united now. However, us soul beasts will retaliate against the humans when their existence affects our survival. Whatever goes, the Sky Dream Ice Worm answered lazily, Anyway, I'm only just a soul ring now. As long as Yu Hao is fine, I don't care about anything else. 
Don't force Yu Hao either. He is already working very hard. There's one phrase by the humans that's well said, everything has to be done just right. Come, let's sleep together for a while. Who's sleeping with you? The Ice Empress said tempestuously. The Sky Dream Ice Worm snorted and said, We don't have bodies now, and are sealed in Yu Hao's spiritual sea. If we're not sleeping together, then what are we doing? Whether you're going to admit it or not, can't I just visualize it for myself? Wah ha ha ha. You rascal. Beside my favorite little scorpion. Sleep, the Sky Dream Ice Worm went silent, and the Ice Empress eventually laughed after being cross for half the day. Rascal. I wouldn't have let you take advantage of me if I wasn't destined to fail in my attempt to break through the bottleneck. It's weird. Why did I feel a sense of familiarity when I saw that soul beast embryo today? Don't tell me that it's a hundred thousand year soul beast that comes from the extreme north. But if it's only just a new hundred thousand year soul beast that is preparing to be reborn as a human, why did I feel such a sense of familiarity? Early the next morning, the sun rose over a clear day in Star Luo Plaza. After breakfast, the bustling crowd in Star Luo Plaza could be clearly seen from afar if one stood at the corridor in front of the window. The round of 16 was divided into four matches every day for four days. As the previous title holders of this tournament, the Shrek Academy would be the first to compete. Their opponent was the Doling Imperial Soul Academy that had five Soul Kings, and which was the top academy in the Doling Empire. Wang Dong placed his hands on Hu Yu Hao's shoulder and asked, What are you thinking of? Are you nervous or excited? Hu Yu Hao laughed cheekily and said, Neither. I was just thinking about whether we'll set a record as the youngest to become champions if we do become champions. Wang Dong chuckled, What a kid. Wait till you become the champion. Hui Yu Hao snapped at him, You dare to lecture me even though you are younger than me. Are you that unconfident? Don't forget that we have already. Don't say it. Wang Dong covered his mouth and pushed his words back down his throat. Hui Yu Hao also understood. He scratched his head and wrenched his hands away. I was just a little excited. Wang Dong snorted and said, do you think that I can't see that look of complacency in your eyes? Don't forget that no matter how powerful our soul skills are, our current cultivations are not sufficient yet. Little kid, know your place. We are not the main forces. Hui Yu Hao forward and said, Little Wang Dong, you are indeed my mentor. Thanks for the reminder. Honestly speaking, the ice jade scorpion left arm bone did not make me lose my calm. It's just that I can't repress my excitement from the success of our experiment. It seems like we are destined to be together. Wang Dong turned red and retorted, Nonsense. Who's destined to be together with you? Hui Yu Hao replied cheekily, Why are you blushing? You must be thinking of something wayward. It's fine if you're young and never learned what's right. But your mind is full of dirty thoughts. Hui Yu Hao, are you looking to be whacked? Wang Dong grabbed his shoulder. Hui Yu Hao turned his body and dodged. As the two of them horsed around, Wang Yang coincidentally walked out of his room. Hui Yu Hao dodged until he hit Wang Yang in the back, and Wang Dong did not manage to grab him in time. Wang Yang laughed, what are the both of you doing? Today, the Shrek Academy was about to send its strongest lineup from its team for the tournament. Hence, Wang Yang was much more relaxed. With two sole emperors holding the fort and his own arrangements and strategy, surely victory was theirs. Today, Elder Ma wasn't the one leading the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. He smiled and nodded towards Wang Yang. Wang Yang returned the formality. But the students of both academies were not so cordial towards one another. Xiao Hongchen spotted Hu Yu Hao almost immediately, and his face flashed with the smile of a victor. He smiled, twin martial souls. You are brilliant. Although Wang Dong and Hu Yu Hao were disturbing each other earlier, Wang Dong stood up for Hu Yu Hao without any hesitation at this point and said sarcastically, Uncle, who are you, Uncle? Xiao Hongchen opened his eyes wide as he looked at Wang Dong. He pointed to his nose and said, Are you calling me? Wang Dong seemed innocent and unaffected as he said, Of course I am. Uncle. Xiao Hongchen was not even 15 years old. Although he often seemed very arrogant, he was not that old. The short moustache above his lips was a symbol of his youth. But now, Wang Dong made it seem like it was a symbol of a middle-aged man, um, am I so old? Xiao Hongchen was speechless as he stared wide-eyed at Wang Dong. Wang Dong was very serious as he nodded his head and said, you're not that old. 
You must be the teacher of the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, uncle. Stop calling me uncle. Xiao Hongchen felt as if he was going to go berserk. Normally, he was one who liked to flaunt himself, such that no one apart from his sister Meng Hongchen was willing to help him. Instead, they wanted to laugh. Meng Hongchen was annoyed as she said, little fellow, take a careful look. My brother is only 14 years old, he has not even reached 15 years. He is no uncle. Wang Dong turned to Meng Hongchen, and the look in his eyes suddenly changed. It was a weird look that carried 30% admiration, 60% attachment, and 10% yearning. Elder sister, you are a ravishing beauty. Meng Hongchen was stunned as he said that. It was important to note that when Wang Dong had first entered the academy, he caught the eyes of almost the entire batch of young girls, including those from his class. He had charming, big pinkish-blue eyes, and pinkish-blue short hair that covered his forehead. His skin was tender and white, while his delicate face had a pink complexion. To every girl, he was like a lady killer. Although Meng Hongchen was older than Wang Dong and Hu Yuhao, it was only by a year. Looking at this young man, who was around the same height as her and so attractive too, Meng Hongchen's face blushed as she was complimented. She muttered, you are very handsome too. Wang Dong smiled and said, so this uncle is your elder brother. Is he your biological brother? Why do the both of you look so dissimilar? Although the both of you come from the same parents, the gap in looks is too stark. Rascal, do you want to get beaten up? Xiao Hongchen could not tolerate it any further. Not only did Wang Dong call him old, he even implied that he was ugly. He could not bear it any further, elder brother, why are you so fierce? Meng Hongchen looked at the frantic Wang Dong and could not help but pull her brother away, Meng, are you for real? Xiao Hongchen was stunned as he looked at his own sister. Right now, Wang Dong had already shot him a provocative look before leaving the hotel with Hui Yuhao quickly. As he walked, he waved goodbye to Meng Hongchen, Wang Dong, you're good. Hui Yuhao was shocked as he said, I didn't expect that you were capable of picking up girls too. Wang Dong snorted and said, you don't know about this, but many young ladies have fallen in love with me. There are many ways to pick up girls, but it's a pity that what's there to pity. Hui Yuhao asked casually. Wang Dong glared at him and said, nothing. Hui Yuhao, do you know what the highest level of picking up girls is? Hui Yuhao shook his head ignorantly. Wang Dong replied seriously, it's to make them chase you on their own. Ha ha. Bei Bei, who was walking in front, had been noticing all the movements behind him. He could not help but laugh, and shook his head as he said, these little fellows are really active. Xu Sancha was beside him, and he said softly, I think Wang Dong is very great. Seems like I should learn from him. Bei Bei looked at him disdainfully and answered, what nonsense do you want to learn? His methods of picking up girls are built on his looks. Do you have his looks? If you were half as handsome as I am, you wouldn't be in this state. Both Shrek Academy and the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy would feature in today's four rounds, but the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's match was in the afternoon, and they did not have to come in the morning. However, they still came to watch how Shrek Academy would perform against the five soul kings of the Doling Imperial Soul Academy. After settling down in the resting area, Wang Dong did not forget to smile at both Xiao Hongchen and his sister. Xiao Hongchen felt that he was obviously being provocative. But to Meng Hongchen, Wang Dong's bright and beautiful smile made her heart beat faster. Hu Yuhao tugged at Wang Dong's arm and said, Stop playing. Be careful of going overboard. Wang Dong groaned and said, What? Are you jealous? Are you interested in that girl? Hu Yuhao answered him softly, Stop harboring dirty thoughts, will you? Wang Dong laughed coldly and said, I wonder who's the one with all the dirty thoughts. All right, I won't bother you anymore. I'll get ready to fight. The elimination rounds would be held across two days, and today was the team competition. The victor of the team competition could be said to be one foot into the quarterfinals of the tournament. The individual elimination rounds would be held the next day. Wang Yang was serious as he stood in front of everyone. Act according to our strategy. The Doling Imperial Soul Academy must have their reasons for intentionally losing first place in the qualifier round, or they must have some special preparations. This round is critical to both parties. Hence, we must not give them any shred of opportunity. As he saw Ma Xiaotao's look of disapproval, Wang Yang said in a low voice, Don't forget what the consequences were when we were careless in front of the envoy of the death god. 
All these years, Shrek Academy has been the champion of the Continental Advanced Soul Master Academy Soul Dueling Tournament. However, we have also become everyone's target for that same reason. I think it's fair to say that every participating academy will have done their research on us. Following the development of soul tools, there are more and more strategies now. Do not underestimate our opponents. Whoever is not interested in carrying out my strategy can forget about competing in the next round. Upon remembering the envoy of the death god that had heavily hurt the official team members, everyone felt a chill in their hearts. Ma Xiaodao looked up to Wang Yang. Although she was a little unconvinced, she was less scornful than before. As the competition drew closer to its end, the atmosphere also became more and more intense. This was an elimination round. Furthermore, it was the round of 16 elimination stage. If defeated, it would mean elimination from the tournament. For every round one, one's ranking would increase. Undoubtedly, all the academies that participated in this tournament would give their all under such a circumstance. The more they watched the tournament, the more the spectators appreciated it. The most intense battle was about to start. How could they not be eager to watch? There appeared to be more spectators than usual in Star Luo Plaza today. They managed to squeeze their way in through different forms of connections and through different channels, as they wanted to see this exciting duel. Especially since Shrek Academy was competing in the morning, and their opponent had taken second place in the round-robin stage of the tournament. This attracted more attention than usual, the round of 16 to qualify for the quarterfinals will now begin. The first match will be between Shrek Academy and the Doling Imperial Soul Academy. Competing members, please enter the waiting area to prepare for the match. On the stage, the referee's voice caused everyone to cheer louder and louder. The atmosphere reached a high in an instant. The peacekeeping army that was in charge of maintaining order raised their alertness to guard against any unprecedented situations. As if nothing had happened, the Star Luo Emperor came to the top of the city wall very early on. Whenever Shrek Academy competed, he would come to watch. Under Wang Yang's guidance, Ma Xiaodao, Dai Yueheng, Ling Luo Chen, Bei Bei, Xu Sansha, Hui Yuhao and Wang Dong entered the waiting area. When the competing members of the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy saw that Ma Xiaodao and Dai Yueheng were present, they immediately raised their guard. In the previous tournament, Dai Yueheng had appeared as the leader of the preparatory team, and Ma Xiaodao had not participated. Hence, Dai Yueheng naturally drew more attention to himself. Wang Yang looked at his own team members. After pursing his lips, he said in a low voice, It hasn't been not easy for us to reach this stage. It was only possible because of all your hard work and effort. All of you must remember not to allow any mistakes to render all our hard work for nothing. Shrek will win. Shrek will win. The seven of them shouted at the same time. Once they spoke these few words, all of them became focused, and their competitive streaks rose. Competition was the best way for one to grow. From the start of the tournament till now, Wang Yang could clearly see the growth that the seven students on the preparatory team had experienced. Their state of mind, emotions, thirst for competition and live experience had all improved at alarming rates. They were like depthless sponges that kept on absorbing elements that would aid in their growth. Wang Yang also knew about the arrival of Elder Xian, the Dao Tai De Luo. After Elder Xian arrived, he found Wang Yang and relayed the decision of the conference held within the Sea God's Pavilion to him. Wang Yang had not understood at first. But as time passed, he became convinced of the decision. Maybe this would dim the glory of the Shrek Academy. However, would all the glory be lost if this batch of talented kids was able to mature? Not to even mention anything else, the simultaneous appearances of three twin martial souls in Shrek Academy was already worth a wager. Participants of both parties, please enter the stage. The referee's voice disrupted Wang Yang's thoughts. Ma Xiaodao was the first to stand up, and she advanced with huge steps. Dai Yueheng, Ling Luo Chen, Bei Bei, Hui Yuhao, Wang Dong and Xu Sansha followed behind him. The seven of them streamed onto the stage. On the other side, the participants of the Doling Imperial Soul Academy also walked towards the stage. They were similar to Shrek Academy in one aspect. Among their seven members, two were female. While it was a team competition, everyone from Shrek Academy understood that today's match would be different from any of the other matches they had fought before. A dim radiance flashed, and Hui Yuhao smiled gently. He turned to look at Wang Dong, and noticed that Wang Dong was also looking at him. As their gazes met, they saw the resolve in each other's eyes. 
Ma Xiaodao and Dai Yueheng stood at the very front. As for their opponents, the person who stood at the front was a youth who seemed to be around the same age as Dai Yueheng. This youth had a huge bone structure, but he was very thin. His cheeks even appeared to be shriveled. However, his eyes were filled with energy. As he advanced a few steps and walked towards the referee, he said to the others from the Shrek Academy, It's my honor to spar with Shrek Academy. Please advise us. The person who stepped forward was not Ma Xiaodao, but Dai Yueheng. Dai Yueheng took a large step forward and smiled gently, saying, If I'm not wrong, you are called Ji Yu Zhujian. Am I right? Ji Yu Zhujian was slightly stunned and replied, How do you know my name? I think I saw you in the last tournament. I am Dai Yueheng. Dai Yueheng introduced himself. He did not believe that the other party did not recognize him. As the team leader of the preparatory team of Shrek Academy the last time round, he had been a focal point for many of them. Ji Yu Zhujian squeezed out a slight laugh from his shriveled cheeks and said, I hope to learn new things through this competition with Shrek Academy. Your wish will be granted, Dai Yueheng replied. Ji Yu Zhujian's eyes flashed with a cold radiance. He only laughed without replying to Dai Yueheng. The other participants of Do Ling's team were also very confident. It seemed as if they were pretty sure of defeating Shrek Academy. On Shrek Academy's side of Ma Xiaodao and Dai Yueheng were naturally the ones in front. Behind them were Bei Bei and Xu Sancha, who stood slightly diagonally outwards. The four of them formed an arc. In the center at the back, Ling Luo Chen was there. Behind Ling Luo Chen were both Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong. During the process of stepping back, Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection sharing was already unleashed and shrouded all of his team members. The entire stage was instantly enveloped by his spiritual detection. Even for the strongest Ma Xiaodao and Dai Yueheng, they felt a wave of comfort and relief as they sensed the all-round detection from the spiritual detection sharing. Indeed, with such a powerful spiritual skill, they would be able to control the rhythm of the match. On the other side, Do Ling's team also unleashed their formation as they stepped back. However, a scene that left Shrek Academy shocked appeared. Ji Yu Zhujian did not appear in front of the team even though he was the team leader and an assault type soul master. Rather, he stood in the center. The ones who stood in front were Qian Yuan, the Terraclaw Bear, and Kai Hengyu, the giant Vaja shield. Han Linger, the agility type soul king, concealed herself a short distance behind the both of them. The two control system battle soul masters stood at either two side of her, protecting Ji Yu Zhujian in the center, as well as Tang Nyonyo, the auxiliary type soul master. This formation was very weird. The Assault System Battle Soul Master actually stood at the position that the Control System Soul Master should be standing in. What were they trying to achieve? In the face of such a situation, the reaction of Shrek Academy was to do nothing. They only watched their opponents carefully. Seeing that both parties were already in position, the referee gestured to the team leaders of both parties and shouted, Match start. Before he even finished speaking, the referee quickly left the center of the stage. No one knew if he was fearful of the freezing effect that Ling Luo Chen had exhibited in Shrek's last match. The soul masters of both parties unleashed their martial souls at the first instant. Ling Luo Chen did not carry out an ultimate move like she did in the last round. She only summoned her own ice staff. Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong worked well with each other to support her. The adhesive effect of his ultimate ice was on display now. Thick phoenix flames rose instantly on Ma Xiaotao's body. She could not hold it any longer. Even though Wang Yang had instructed her to conceal her true abilities, how could she listen to him? Two yellow, two purple and two black soul rings the total of six soul rings were unleashed. Along with the burning phoenix flames, her might was shown. However, since Hui Yu Hao had shown to everyone that not everything that they saw was the truth, no one did not believe that a soul emperor had appeared even though they were stunned. Dai Yuehang also exuded the aura of a soul emperor. As he roared, the white tiger possessed his body, and his entire body swelled up. His aura was not lacking either. The two soul emperors of Shrek Academy's official team had finally appeared on the competition stage of the Continental Advanced Soul Master Academy Soul Dueling Tournament for the first time. Soul Land 2 Episode 42 Part 1 End Here